I would highly recommend that you find a way to consolidate or organize and store all of your nib units so that you know exactly what you have and what you don't have. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kristen and I'd like to talk about this little guy right here. I recently shared with you the unboxing of my newest Franklin Kristoff Model 2. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that this container, which made a guest appearance in the unboxing video, caught the attention of several viewers. So this is technically a bead organizer, but I use it to store all of my nibs and nib units. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> We're going to start right here. This actually came with the bead organizer and it's just like a little... Uh, labels for each of the small compartments on the inside of the container. So I'm going to put it right here to keep the glare off of the container while I share with you the dimensions of this actual box. So it's about eight and a half inches wide or 21 and a half centimeters wide. And the depth is about five inches or 12 and a half centimeters. And it's about two inches tall or five centimeters tall. If I open this up, it has 64 small compartments in here, and I just labeled each of the little stickers by hand and placed them on each container. Now, these small containers, each one is about five centimeters tall, about two centimeters deep, and one and a quarter centimeters wide. There's a small door in the top of the lid, kind of like little Tic Tacs. That's exactly what it reminds me of or you can take the cap off completely and put whatever you want on the inside. So I have lots of spare nibs and extra nib units in these containers. So that's what it looks like with a small, I think this might be more of a number five size nib in this one. Let's see if I can find another one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And here we go with a number six size nib. This is a spare Nemesine nib in here. And here's a small nib unit. This is a number five size nib unit. And this is what it looks like to have a number six nib unit in here. So with the number six nib units, they would need to remain diagonal inside of the container. So if you have this nib unit that is straight up and down, it's actually too tall for the container. So. I let it rest diagonally and then I can secure the lid completely over the top of the nib unit. So this container will fit nibs and nib units that are up to size six. I don't have any nibs or nib units that are larger than number six size nibs and nib units, um, but I know that number six nib units will fit in here diagonally. I know that short ink cartridges will fit in here and little tiny stickers if you have um, little small stationary items that will fit in here as well. Now, these containers will not fit Pilot Vanishing Point nib units. They are entirely too long to fit into these small containers. And you're also not able to fit in regular cartridges and converters. They're also too long for these little compartments. Now, as far as the build quality goes, this is this is a decent container. Um, there are a few things that are just a little bit off about them. So there's, there's a quite a bit of shifting that actually happen inside this container. But I don't handle this container very much, very often, because it really is just for storage. So I would not recommend holding this by the handle, just in case these little tabs pop open unintentionally and everything just kind of spills out. Now the caps for each of these individual compartments, they are mostly secure, but I believe that with frequent use that they may become loosened over time. So I would not recommend holding it by the tab or even the entire lid because it could just dislodge and your nib would end up falling somewhere, possibly even getting damaged. So that's the reason why I would not hold this by the handle because the entire storage containers lid could pop open and these containers could also pop open as well. So I am pretty gentle with my handling of this container. As long as you are gentle with this container, it will serve its intended purpose. It's meant to hold and organize beads and, and other small items, but I think it is an excellent option for storing your nibs and nib units. So far, I have 47 
of these little containers occupied by something, whether it's a nib, a nib unit, nib housing, or even like little feeds. So I have things like I have Jinhao number five nibs in here. I've got Yovo number six nibs. I've got Lamy nibs in here. I've got Bach nibs in here. I've got some Wing Song and Nemesine nibs in here. So these are nib and feed housings that I purchased from the Flexible Nib Factory, and they will house Sailor nibs to go into Bach or Yovo compatible fountain pens. And right here, I've got two Hokuro dip nib reservoirs. So this is a Hokuro dip pen. It's got a 2.0 stub nib, and it came with a feed or a reservoir. And I have two additional Hokuro dip pens that did not come with reservoirs. So I've got some spare reservoirs or feeds to go on those whenever I do want to use them with feeds for longer writing sessions. So most of the nibs that I have in this container are for my nib grinding adventures. So plenty of the Jinhao number five nibs and number six nibs that I have in here, I'm probably going to be grinding them down to Curse Vitalik or Architect nib grinds. I really needed some place to store those nibs. And this was the perfect solution for that. So all of these extra dip nibs that you would use with nib holders like this, they are small enough to go inside these containers as well. So you see that each one of these containers is numbered and I have a Notion database to help me remember what nib or nib unit is contained in each of these containers. So for example, container number 22 contains a Yovo number six nib that I purchased at the San Francisco pen show. So this is the nib unit that I purchased from Kirk Spear of the pen realm. This was his nib design for the 2023 San Francisco pen show. And I got a special grind on this one as well. It is his Tonto grind. So all of the information that I have on each nib, such as the nib type, the color, the size, if there's a grind on each of these nibs, I have captured all of that information in my Notion database. I am glad that I have this container because it helps to keep my nibs organized. I know where everything is located and I would highly recommend doing something like this, whether it is this container or some other way that you organize your nibs. So I did not realize that I had as many nibs and nib units until I actually placed them all in this container. Now that I have this container, I've got everything in one place, everything is organized and the Notion database can tell me exactly what I have in each compartment, what sort of grinds are on each one, and if there are any compatibility limitations on each of them. I would highly recommend that you find a way to consolidate or organize and store all of your nib units so that you know exactly what you have and what you don't have. So if you are interested in using a storage container like this one, I will leave the specific link for the one that I purchased in the description box for you. It's an affiliate link, but there is no extra cost to you for purchasing this item. So I hope that this was helpful for you. And thank you to everyone who requested a video of this. I'm glad that I got a chance to share something that I really enjoy using. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.